Good day to you. How are you doing? This is David Richard. I'm with Balance of the Triad, Body, Mind, and Spirit. Balance of the Triad, kind of what is that? Well, over the years, I've pieced together working on my body, my mind, and my spirit. So I worked on my health and wellness, keep myself fairly healthy. And then I realized the importance of that is how those can combine together. I went in for what was going to be a simple procedure, but woke up in ICU. A bunch of tubes come at me. Following week, I had a cancer diagnosis. Following week, I had eight-hour surgery. And I handled all those kind of like grace and ease. It wasn't that big of a deal to me. And that's when I realized the importance of working on my health and wellness, that body, mind, spirit, because all three do have to work together. It allowed me to meet the challenges that life throws at me and handle them relatively easy. I got the resilience or handle them grace and ease. That's what I'm sharing with you so that you can do the same thing. <clears throat> Today's topic, cherish life. Seems to be a rather simple statement. I think it actually is. I think most of us do. Yet certain events can trigger us to think about this more so than others. Sometimes it's a national worldwide event. Other times it's something even a little small. This, I started <clears throat> pondering this earlier today. And actually it started yesterday and I kind of built up and I started figuring out, I wanted to talk about this. I wasn't sure even how to do go about it. So I'm just kind of winging this here because sometimes at least I have an idea of what I'm coming into. Other times I don't. <clears throat> I am... Um, a friend was supposed to help me out with something for my asked coaching certification. I messaged her again to schedule something up and found out a friend of hers had just committed suicide. And she was dealing with that. Um, seen some posts, some cousins of mine. Yesterday, it was five years ago, that their father had passed away. Strange. <clears throat> a little odd circumstances. Don't quite know what happened. No foul play to like that, but just not for sure quite what happened. Which also means I have another buddy that passed away around this time, would be about five years ago as well. Uh, last month, I think it was, I found another friend passed away. Today would have been one of my aunt's, I think it's birthdays. And it just kind of piles things up. And even today had a fledgling fall out of a tree. And looked up a little bit and basically said, if you can, put it in the tree or if you can put it in the box there and see if the mother might come down or something. Another happened, it did pass away. Had some wind, so it fell out of the nest. But you can take simple, I don't want to call it simple, that's the wrong wording, but you can take little ideas like that, certain things kind of compound you. And if you choose to, it can make you ponder, make you think, make you question things. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, like with a suicide, sometimes we don't have answers. I'm not professional, I haven't done a whole lot of research. Um, a lot of times people can't find a way out or from my personal experience and as the way when I had suicidal thoughts was simply because I just didn't want to do anything I didn't want it to handle it um, health comes, health goes and death and life is a, is, a, is a nature of life sometimes what happens but what I'm I guess the kind of message I want to talk about here is cherish it and that's one of the things I'm talking about here if you can reach um number of videos I've, I've slacked off a little bit about reaching out to friends just to see how they're doing let them know you're thinking about them enjoy the time with your family and i know with some of this covid crap which is what i'm going to call it <clears throat> how many people we had passed away with no one around them <clears throat> uh it's to me there's problems with the way that that whole thing was handled and i'm not going to go into that but cherish the life cherish the life of your friends cherish your own what are the, are you living your life what are the things that you can do to make yourself better so that you can shine your light, get your gifts, whatever it is to help others out? That's what I'm doing with the Bounce and Try. That's what I'm doing with these videos. It's been, it's sometimes it gets out of my comfort zone. Sometimes I'm worried and nervous about what's going to happen, what's going to happen. Is anybody going to watch these videos? Are they going to do any good? And can I keep doing them? Because I know I have something to share that can help somebody out. Don't always know when that will help someone out, but that's why I keep doing That's why I keep showing up. So, cherish life. I mean, tell the people around them you care about them. Tell them that you love them. Spend the time with those you can. And it's not just your family or friends, but also just simple animals. Look at the nature. Look at the plants. We had, uh, had a, um, I don't even remember what type of plant it was. But some leaves were kind of crushed and got down around the sun, so tried to cut them off and try to get to survive. One was doing okay, the leaves were perking up, the other one wasn't, and both lost them both of them. It's just a plant, but still, it was a little bit of loss of life, and you realize how precious that is. And I'm reading a book about native spirit. A lot of your, a lot of your indigenous, indigenous cultures all believe that everything, your plants, your animals, your trees, the rocks, have a consciousness or spirit to them. 
and that an aspect that they were all connected. So it depends on what your belief is, but I I can I don't want to keep rambling on here like I normally do, but just a little note just to take a chance to remember to appreciate those around you and do what you can to live your life to the fullest. Get the most out of life you can, do what you can to make yourself better and share what you learn along the journey. All right, I'll stop there. Just let me know your thoughts on that. We'll catch you next time. Balance the team.